whom do you credit most influential in your life, Senator? It could be more than one. Well, I mean, certainly my mother. Sure. Mm. I had another um, incident where my father was a clear, uh, a clear lesson. Um, I was seven. It's a great story. I love we this. lived in Athens, Alabama, and I had a playmate across the street who was bigger than I was mm -hmm. and a year older than I was, and he was always pushing me around. He's kind of a bully. Yeah. My dad, who was fortunate to survive World War II, most of his company got wiped out one night, was out working in the yard. And uh, he'd been watching that for a while, didn't like it. He called me over and he said, son, uh -huh. I'm over here a minute. He said, I want you to go across the street and I want you to beat up Dickie McGrew. And I said, dad, he's bigger than I am and he's older than I am. And here's exactly what my dad said to me, Kurt. What's that? He said, I'm bigger than he is and older than he is. <laughs> <laughs> I love father. So I had, a, I had what's called a Hobson's choice, two bad alternatives. Uh -huh. uh, so I screwed up my courage, fully expecting to fail, walked across the street and started swinging. And to my utter amazement, I beat him up and bent his glasses. And we never had another problem. Did you become fast friends or yeah, never? Talking? Well, <laughs> I was never pushed around again. I got you. And the point of that story was an early lesson in the, the importance of standing up to bullies and defending yourself. And given the line of work that I've been in all these years, <laughs> there have been yeah. plenty of people that have tried to beat me up over the sure. years. Sure.